Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making a pork chops for y'all today. These are boneless pork loin chops. And uh, I'm gonna fix them like my mom did. And uh, all, you know, back then all you had was flour and lard, which I don't have no lard, I have to use oil. And uh, salt and pepper, that's all mom used to fry her pork chops when she had them. <laughs> so that was very seldom did we have pork chops. And but flour. Was, and, and flour, you know, she always kept flour. But here's this, when she put salt in it, real good. She put pepper in it. And then she just stirred it up. And then I'm gonna take my pork chops over here and wash them. Yeah, and she's got oil already in there. It's this vegetable oil, but y'all can use whatever type of oil. Or if you got lard, like she said, you could put lard in there. And it's already heated up. It's ready to go now. Yeah. It's turned on. Over there, I'll put them in. It's turned to medium. And this is the breading. It's just flour, just salt, and pepper. That's what we used back then. And mom, you could buy lard. I guess you still can at the store. I, I, I'm so used to just buying oil all the time. I think the only time we get law here, uh, lard here is... Uh, Used to be when my daughter's husband would come in and they would fry stuff. And uh, I don't know what they called they done it, but uh, they would use lard. They deep fry, cooked meat all day long. They was from Mexico. And see, we just gonna put it in here like this and see how thick it is. We'll have to cook it kind of slow, like on medium. And we got six, and we'll just coat it real good. And mom always had crispy uh, meat. And we'll go put three in here now, and we do the other three. And mom always done this. She said, you got to salt it afterwards. And then uh, in a little bit, we'll flip, a note, flip, flip them over. But uh, we're going to go read a little bit and hope uh, they get done. So we can show y'all what they look like when they get done. But uh, yeah, this is the way mom used to do it back then, you know. So uh, yeah, we'll turn it down a little bit on low since she's going to be reading, and I'm going to come in here and check it while she's reading too, yeah, to make sure they don't get burned. I'll wash my hands and I'll be in there. And uh, here's the potatoes that she made. These are just fried potatoes. And we're going to have pinto beans and ranch. Oh. And we're gonna make a video on the ramps too. We'll show y'all how she cooks the ramps and what they are. And we've showed them in uh, other videos, but we never showed the uh, actually cooking them up and frying them up yet. But we have shown this, the fried potatoes. If y'all wanna see that, her recipe for this is on the playlist that says my mama's secret recipes. I have to get my glasses, forgot them again. Here's the banana nut bread we did this earlier. I haven't uploaded this one yet, but it'll be uploaded tomorrow, which will be the day before this. This is probably not going to be uploaded till the day after tomorrow. So by the time this uh, pork chops is uploaded, this will already be uploaded too. And y'all could uh, check out the recipe for this if y'all want to. Yeah, uh, we try to put some on because he is going to be going to the Philippines. And then if I get sick or don't feel good or he has to do something or we have to go somewhere and do something, he'll have something to upload to y'all. Yeah. So that's the reason we do that. So uh, I'm going to be reading in John. And let me see. Talking about Jesus. Praise for his disciples. And uh, he's going to be praying for the future believers too. And it's the uh, 17th chapter of John. It says, uh, These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, 
whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. God sent him down there for a work to do, you know, to uh, save the lost, to die on the cross for their sins, you know. It says, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou hast given them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I come out from thee. And they have believed, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, kept through thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And this is all uh, Jesus speaking. It's all red letters. It says, I kept them in thy name. Those that gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, like we. When we accept Jesus, we are not of the world. When we repent and give our heart to God, we are not of this world. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that, that, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, and thou hast sent me into the world. Even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. I'll try to read this uh, chapter so the, uh, the meat will get done. So it says, Jesus prays for future believers. And neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through thy word, and that they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou hast loved for thou lovest me before the foundations of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. And that's what it is. When you love the Lord and you repent and give your heart to him, he lives within us, you know. And so he, uh, we are in him, and he is in us, you know. But uh, God loved us. He come down to the earth. He stretched out his arms on the cross for us. Now, how, how much love could anybody but Jesus Christ give? Is that love where he died on the cross for our sins so that we might be saved, so that we'll go to heaven one day with him? What love he had for us. So, and in the, the commentary here, it says, How do we get in eternal life? Jesus tells us clearly by knowing God, the Father himself, through his Son, Jesus Christ. Eternal life requires entering into a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ. We have to have a personal relationship with Jesus. So, you know, we have to uh, pray to him, talk to him. He has to know our heart, and we have to have faith knowing that he uh, loves us, you know, and he, uh, well, 
take care of us no matter what comes our way. We're supposed to trust and believe in him just like he believes in us that we'll, be, uh, we'll do the work that he calls for us to do. Um, when we admit our sin and turn away from it, Jesus lives in us by the Holy Spirit. Um, it says, what did Jesus mean when he said that he is glorified in his followers? We glorify God when we reveal his presence and character in the way we live. The lives of Jesus' disciples reveal his character and show the world that he is present in them. In what ways does your life reveal Jesus' character and presence? Do you walk like Jesus walked? Do you talk like he did? You know, we're, we're supposed to talk and act and, and be like Jesus, show love to everybody you know. Jesus was perfect. We're not perfect, you know, because we mess up sometimes and we have to ask Jesus Christ to forgive us of what our sins. You know, if we said something uh, bad or if we said something wrong to somebody or got a little bit hateful to somebody or something, we have to ask Jesus to forgive us, you know, because we're supposed to walk like him, talk like him. We're supposed to be holy because there's no sin or, or no attitudes going to enter heaven. You know, we have to be pure and holy like Jesus is pure and holy. You know, we won't we won't be like that down here on earth. So we try we try to. You know, God sees and God knows us. We are human. So we try our best to do like Jesus uh, teaches us to do, to walk holy, to be holy, you know, to be a witness to him. And if he calls if he lays on our hearts to do something, uh, we're supposed to try to do it, you know. Because he will go before us and he will have a, open a way for us to uh, finish whatever he has for us to do. That's God, you know. And so we are to have faith in him and go about and do and do his work. This work that uh, he gave me and Milton during the COVID, you know, I never in a million years dreamed that I'd ever be uh, uh, preaching or teaching the word of God to anybody, you know. But uh, God sees our hearts. He knows our hearts. He put me and Milton together for this reason, you know. And uh, we've been together for 56 years. And uh, God put us together. And I know that without a shadow of a doubt that he did. And he had a work for us to do is to preach the gospel, to get the word out there to everybody, to everybody that don't know him that's lost. And this uh, YouTube that Corey has, it goes all over the world. you know. And there's many, many preachers that preaches on YouTube. And it goes all over the world. That's how he gets his word out. When people uh, like Billy Graham or Roberts, people like that, uh, ministers that uh, put their whole heart and life into Jesus Christ to preach the word, to give the word to the people out there. So that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have faith in Jesus Christ, you know, to do his work that he called us to do. Is it almost done, Corey? Uh, maybe five more minutes. Five more you want to pray for him? Yeah, we'll pray for him. But anyway, God loves us, and he loves you too, and he just wants us to be obedient to him, to do what he calls us to do, you know to try to walk holy, you know, and to um, love everybody that we can. You know, sometimes you can't love somebody. Some people might turn against you because you love Jesus, you know, but we're supposed to love everybody. We're supposed to pray for them, you know. We might not can get through to them, but we are to pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everybody that has sent a request in or has asked us to uh, uh, pray for them and put them in our prayer book. So that's what we do. We put them in this book here, and we pray for them. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you this evening, Lord Jesus, just loving you, Lord Jesus, and praising you, Lord. Thanking you, Lord, for the work that you gave us to do, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, and we thank you for walking beside of us and showing us and guiding us and leading us, Lord, uh, letting us know what you want us to do, Lord. And Lord, I just ask you to help us to be true and faithful to you, Lord, to listen to your still small voice, Lord, and do what you ask us to do, Lord Jesus, uh, to be true and faithful to you, Lord. Uh, Lord, that is my goal, Lord Jesus, and to make it to heaven one day, Lord. And I know, Lord, that our YouTube family out there wants the same thing, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, and if you see a need, Lord, that they have, Lord, I just come to you, Lord, and ask you to be with them, Lord Jesus, and help them through whatever they may be going through, Lord. And if it's financial or they need strength to go through something, Lord, like surgery or sickness or something, Lord, that you'll help them through it, Lord. In your mighty name I pray, Lord. Touch our nation, Lord, and touch Israel. Give them peace, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time. You know, we have to trust him that he knows what's best for us. So we go in here now and we'll try it again. Yeah, I've been in here flipping them. I'll flip them probably once or twice to get them like equally browned on each side. 
and these are so thick you got to flip yeah. them on the side of it too See like how thick? yeah okay. so you got to flip them on this side and let this side cook because if not it won't get cooked yeah you gotta do it like this flip yeah. them on the, on the side yeah at least the best that you can yeah the best way that you can if you have to you can hold it up there too so it can yeah. get uh cooked on the side of it yeah, just, uh, yeah, just doing like this on each side for a little bit at a time. You know, to make sure that uh, it'll go through. It'll, uh, they'll get done all the way through. He's flipping over here, and here's what I, I've seen Mom do this before. You know, see some of her stuff. So, and we'll take a knife. This is the knife that... I think this one is already on that side. This is the knife that the old timey knife that uh, Grandma Maynard, I think her husband made them, uh, you know, and it is the old timey knife. So, but uh, my mom used to do this. And that's probably what you have to do, you know. I've done this too, is to just uh, punch a hole in them like this so the heat will go through them and we'll fry them so they'll get done faster. And these are really thick pork chops. Uh, and if you don't know if they're done or not, it's hard to tell if it's done by the outside, so you have to cut into them sometimes. Yep, you do. You just slice it in half, see if it's uh, done on the middle. See how thick it is? And I can show you, I'm, I'm almost sure they're not done yet. And it's pork. If they're getting there, see? It's still a little bit raw in the middle. Uh, and then whenever you cut them, you could tip them up on that side too yeah. to cook that part that's pink. Yep. Yeah. If you wanted to, that's up to y'all though. Yep. Yeah. You just do it all the way around. You know, you just keep flipping them, keep turning them. Like Corey said, just flip them on the side like this. Cut them in two to make sure they're done. Yeah. And if it's a steak, like an actual beef steak then that pinkness does not matter at all you can just eat it like that if you like it like that because some people likes it like that but i don't yeah now my brother likes seeing blood but i don't yeah i, I like them a little bit pink i like a medium well yeah i like i like mine done but not buck but these are different this is a pork chop this is pork you can't uh, eat it pink yeah, you have to cook no. these all the way through yes you do it's not like a beef steak so I'm going to go ahead and get my fork over here. I have a big fork, but I don't know what happened to it. So I'm going to get my little fork. Uh, anytime, I'm sure all y'all already know this, so there's really no point in me telling y'all, but I'll say it anyways. For anybody who don't know it, any new cook or something like that who's just starting to cook, that you can't eat any uh, sort of pork no, or chicken can't. if it's pink at all. It has to be well done. Yes. And uh, when you're handling any kind of meat, you need to wash your hands. Raw meat. And, uh, you get, I can't say what you get. Salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah. Whenever I was a little kid, I actually uh, had salmonella, but it wasn't from meat. It was from a lizard, a uh, iguana that I had, and I ended up getting salmonella, and I was in the hospital for probably a week. So I learned my lesson. I'll never touch another <laughs> reptile ever again. Yeah. Yeah, you sometimes you have to learn the hard way. That's what my dad would say all the time. Sometimes you gotta learn the hard way if you don't learn the first time. So, but yeah, you just keep uh, frying this. You see how crispy they get when you put the flour and stuff on them? Now that's the way mom used to do them. So, I talked about mom a lot. She's been gone, oh lord, maybe 15, about 15 years, maybe longer than that. And, uh, You know, I just barely uh, remember her mom at all, and I've never met her dad. Her dad has passed before I was ever born. And uh, Papa's parents, Papa's mom and dad, I think they was both passed before I was born too, because yeah. I don't remember them either. Yeah. So the only one of my uh, great grandparents on my mom's side, which is my mom all here, is the only one that I met is Mama's mom. Yeah, we need to think about it because uh, there's a time for us to go, you know. 
And uh, that's the reason I don't understand why people don't have family reunions so people can get to know each other. Now, Mom's side of the family, Mom died and her sister died and her brother died about in three years' time. Uh, a lot of Mommy's family died. They quit having reunions, you know. And my dad, his mom used to have reunions all the time. And they quit having, you know. You need to have family reunions at least once a year to get to know each other. I'm so glad that Milton's family is having uh, their family reunion this year because they didn't think they were going to have it no more. But a lady called me the other day and said they were going to have it the first week in August. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a, a McBride, Folly, and Wood reunion. See, these are getting done. See that? So that's what you do. You just keep flipping them over. And they will get done. And anywhere that it doesn't look done, just flip it to that side and hold it on that side. Yep. Now you just keep turning them over. And then if you have to cut them again, cut them again to make sure. You know. I love pork chops, but you know meat and stuff don't taste like it used to. So. But that's our pork chops, and that's how Mom used to do it. You know, so, and, uh, this is just fried pork chops. We're going to have, uh, fried potatoes and, uh, fried, um, ramps and, uh, some pinto beans. Yeah. I don't know if I fi fixed any bread or not this evening because, uh, Papa can't eat bread anyway. And if I got potatoes, I'd, I'd rather just eat potatoes and whatever and leave the bread off. So, and, uh, with ramps. I'll, I'll tell you about it when, I, when, I, when we fix it, when we do a video of it. Yeah, I'm probably here in just a little bit. We're going to be yeah. doing a ramp video for y'all. Yeah, Papa went to get some. We have a whole hillside full up here in the mountain somewhere. So Papa went to get them, you know. So uh, me and Corey's been doing videos today, and he's been uploading them and putting them together. And that's a job when you, get, when you do all that. I don't know how they do it myself. You know, and it's a job just doing your uh, cooking videos and getting all the ingredients and stuff together. But uh, sometimes we don't have to go to the store every day to Beckley and uh, to just get stuff that we don't have. I think I've got it and then I don't have it. So for the rest of the people going to do that day, and it takes us 45 minutes to get to Beckley to go grocery shopping. So, but that's our pork chops. I think it's getting done. And I believe it's done. You know, it's so. uh I'm pretty sure it's uh, fully done, too. It looks completely done to me. Yeah. So, but we'll be cutting it again. But that's going to be it for now. Oh. And we'll be doing some uh, ramps for you. And if some people don't know what ramps are, we'll be showing you what they are. So. And we'll see you in the next one. Well, that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. But we love y'all. God bless y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, for any new viewers, I'm sure a lot of y'all has already subscribed, but for any new viewers, just uh, make sure to hit that notification bell and it'll notify y'all when we get to a new video that goes up. Yeah. And okay. even if you are subscribed, you could uh, double check because sometimes it makes you unsubscribe. So make sure to double check and see if you're still subscribed or not. Yeah. And we will, at the end of the month, be doing another drawing. Uh, and um, probably... Maybe the end of this week or end of next week, we'll be showing you what all we got in the box. And uh, you have to send your cards and your letters in because we draw from them, you know. And we'll be, we done sent one box out to a lady and uh, we're getting ready to do another drawing. That's just to say thank you to what all y'all do. You subscribe, you comment, you send us cards and letters, and uh, we, we just appreciate it. And that's our way of saying we love you and we thank you. Yep. So we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of every month. Y'all make sure to stay tuned for that. And if y'all haven't seen the last giveaway video, y'all can go back and watch it. It won't be on any playlist or nothing, but you could scroll down the list of videos and you could find it there. Yeah. So we love y'all and we'll see you later. Yep, that's all for this one. Love y'all. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. For any new uh, viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, Here's the cookbook. I'll let Mama show it to you. Yeah, it's got me and one of my chickens on it. 
And it says, my mama's secret recipe and love. And that's what my secret recipe is, love. With gravy, it's coffee. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, then we got we open it up. It's got a plastic binding on it. It's made with um, some kind of shiny paper. On it's like a laminated almost. Yeah, laminated almost. And there's a story how me and uh, Corey got started in uh, cooking on the YouTube. It started with my chickens. And it's got pictures of uh, me and little miss and me and Corey. And this is Corey when he was a baby with Papa and with me. And there's me and Milton when we started our Sunday message. We done it outside last summer. And uh, we had a hot dog um, community giveaway uh, down at our church. And uh, these were the people that helped me and Corey. And uh, then the rest of it here, uh, it tells the main dishes in it, what all we have in it. You see right here, so. My mama's secret recipe. This tells the um, index of it. I can't read them little ones. Yeah, it's uh, main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on it. But then you just go over through here and, and it uh, shows the main dishes and going over tells you the desserts and stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, it's just got our recipes in it. Right here is a side dish. This is the can't read the little writing. It's cat head biscuit recipe. Oh, cat head biscuits. That's my cat head biscuits. That's what the, one of the men called my biscuits in church because I made them so big. And uh, it's got... Um, it's got almost 100 recipes. I think it's got 98 recipes in it. That's why I was going to look on that uh, and see. Yeah. There's 98 pages, so it's probably close to 98 recipes. Yeah. Because some of the pages are not recipes. You can tell them how many pages on each one. Yeah, it goes, uh, there's, from 9 to 44 is main dishes, 47 to 70 is side dishes, and then 73 to 98 is desserts. So that's our cookbook. And we're selling them for $30 a piece. Uh, and uh, we'll pay the shipping. We send yeah. it out to y'all and we'll pay the shipping. We throw a tea and a few other extra things in there like cards and bookmarkers and stuff. We put in there extra with it and we pay the shipping and any uh, shipping cost. So it's just $30 for the book and that's it. Yeah. And you could send it in PayPal. Here's the information here. If you wanted to order one, then you could send it to the P.O. box here. You could send money order, a check, cash, whatever you want to send. That's up to you, but you send it to this P.O. box and make sure to put your address on the inside of the card so yep. we can read your address and we'll send it out to you the next day after we get it. And if you don't have uh, that stuff, if you don't have a way to send it like that, then and you have PayPal or Cash App, if you want to send it this way, that's fine too. You could send it to this PayPal or this Cash App. And as soon as we get it, make sure to put your address in the order whenever you send the money through cash app or paypal you could put your address there and we'll send it out i'll picture it and we'll send it out as soon as we get it